Hello, I'm Dr. Otis Brawley, Chief Medical Officer of the American Cancer Society. Today is International Women's Day and women around the world are still dying from a preventable, treatable disease. In many parts of the developing world, cervical cancer is the leading cancer killer of women, tragically destabilizing families and communities. Out of the estimated 275,000 women who die each year from cervical cancer, more than 85% of these deaths occur in developing countries. HPV, or human papillomavirus, is a common sexually transmitted disease that's the cause of most cervical cancers. In Western countries, it's rare for a woman to die from cervical cancer, as most have access to prevention, screening, and the HPV vaccines. This is not the case for women in other parts of the world, especially in Africa. In Tanzania and other parts of Eastern Africa, cervical cancer was the most frequently diagnosed cancer and the leading cause of cancer death among women. We have the knowledge and tools to prevent unnecessary loss of life from cervical cancer. Recently, Gavi, the Global Alliance for Vaccines and Immunizations, committed to curb the threat of this disease. Through their help, more than 30 million girls in developing countries could have the opportunity to be immunized against HPV, the leading cause of cervical cancer by 2020. Women should not die from cervical cancer, and the American Cancer Society has made this disease a priority for our global work. Please visit global.cancer.org to join us in spreading the word to global leaders that lives need not be cut short from this largely preventable and treatable disease.